Bitcoin solidifies above $30,000, Ether stays below $1,900. Crypto can't be used as money due to inherent flaws, BIS tells G20. Acadia Finance hit by $455,000 exploit on both Ethereum Optimism networks. UK regulator ramped up campaign against crypto ATMs in May and June. Bitcoin NFTs back in spotlight as ordinals cross 350,000 daily inscriptions. Hello and welcome to 3 Dotto TV. I am Vishakha Thakur. Despite regulatory concerns and uncertainties, cryptocurrency markets have recently experienced a significant recovery due to growing investor sentiment towards riskier assets. Bitcoin hovered around the $30,500 mark. Ruti Sharma joins us to tell us how the global cryptocurrency market is performing today. IC15 index of cryptocurrencies was trading up by 0.5% at 40,300 points. Meanwhile, the optimism about spot Bitcoin ETF filing by BlackRock and other financial services giants in mid-June and other mildly crypto-friendly events during the month are once again fueling the rally in crypto markets. Additionally, a report by British multinational bank Standard Chartered Bank highlighted that Bitcoin could hit $50,000 by year's end and over $120,000 by the close of 2024. Analysts have also noted that the investors are slowly warming up to the possibility, possible approval of the Congressional Digital Assets Market Structure and Investor Protection Act, which could establish whether a digital asset is decentralized. Other major cryptos turned from red to increase or jumped more squarely into positive territory with Matic and ADA, the tokens of the smart contracts platforms Polygon and Cardano, rising more than 6% and 2% respectively. BNB, the native crypto of the Binance exchange, recently rose over 4%. The global cryptocurrency market cap was at $1.18 trillion mark, rising 0.8% in the last 24 hours. Total trading volumes increased about 30% to $32.2 billion. Automated market maker PancakeSwap has partnered with Google Cloud to ensure the availability and reliability of its infrastructure. However, following this announcement, Cake is trading up 5% in the last 24 hours. Decentralized trading protocol Uniswap has rolled out its vision for Uniswap v4 after confirming that progress is still ongoing with the next generation model. After processing over $1.5 trillion in trading volume, two years after launching Uniswap v3, Uniswap protocol has become the largest decentralized exchange system. Bitcoin was trading at $30,412, up 0.7%. Ethereum, the second largest crypto, was up by 0.3%, trading at $1,869. BNB was up by 1% to trade at $246. Solana SOL was up 6% and was trading at $22. Cardano's AD token was up by 1.8% to trade at $0.29. Avalanche AVAX was trading at $13.3, higher 0.2%. Polygon Matic was trading up by 8% to trade at $0.73. Ethereum scaling solution Polygon has demonstrated a notable upward trend, achieving an impressive surge of 24% in the last seven days, despite concerns of potential delisting from Revolut's US platform following its classification as a security by the Securities and Exchange Commission earlier this month. Doge, the popular meme coin, was trading up by 0.3% at $0.064. Shiba Inu was trading up by 0.2%. Ripple's XRP token traded at $0.47, up by 0.5%. Polkadot was up by 0.8% to trade at $5.1. Thank you, Ruchi, for your in-depth analysis of the global cryptocurrency market. And now back to the headlines. Crypto's inherent structural flaws make it unsuitable as a monetary tool, the Bank for International Settlements said in a report sent to finance ministers of the world's 20 largest economies. The report from BIS, a grouping of the world's major central banks, cited issues of instability, inefficiency and accountability that outweigh potential innovative benefits such as automated payments. Despite the millions of retail and institutional investors getting involved in the growing sector, 
sector. Crypto has so far failed to harness innovation to the benefit of society, said the report, prepared for a meeting of G20 finance ministers and central bank governors due to take place in Gandhinagar, India this weekend. Central bankers' skepticism about crypto is nothing new, given fears that new payment systems could disrupt or displace the traditional fiat currencies they issue. Non-custodial decentralized finance protocol Arcadia Finance is the latest victim of a $455,000 exploit that occurred on both the Ethereum and Optimism networks. Confirming the hack, Arcadia revealed that it is working with security partners to minimize the damage after pausing the contracts. The platform has also roped in law enforcement to deal with the issue. The firm highlighted another vulnerability in the DeFi protocol, lack of frequency protection, which enables instant liquidation to bypass the internal vault health check. The stolen funds from the Optimism network portion were washed on the controversial coin mixer Tornado Cash. But the Ethereum portion of the stolen funds, worth over $103,000, continued to remain parked in a flagged wallet address. Arcadia has not yet confirmed the validity of the root cause identified by Peckshield, but it said that an investigation is being carried out. The Financial Conduct Authority crackdown against crypto ATMs in the UK saw another 18 sites inspected in May and June to bring the total for the year to 34. In total, the regulator said it has disrupted 26 machines operating unlawfully across the country. The Financial Watchdog conducted the inspections in conjunction with the South West Regional Organised Crime Unit and the Police Forces of Greater London, Bedfordshire and Hertfordshire. In one case, a member of the public paid 1,000 British pounds into a crypto ATM and even though the machine said the transaction was unsuccessful, no funds were returned. The FCA has issued various warnings since March 2022, informing the public that any crypto ATMs in the country are operating illegally and that consumers will not be protected if they use one and something goes wrong, such as them falling victim to a scam. Activity in Bitcoin Ordinals, a method of generating Bitcoin non-fundable tokens through a process called inscribing, has picked up in the wake of the BRC69 token stand launch. The number of new inscriptions rose to over 350,000 on Monday, according to data tracked by blockchain analytics firm Glassnode. The daily tally has surged by over 250% since Ordinal's launchpad Luminex unveiled the Bitcoin request for comment BRC69 token standard on July 3. The modified version of the BRC20 standard was launched to reduce the cost of inscriptions for Ordinal's by over 90%. While the number of new inscriptions has surged, the daily fees paid for inscriptions remain stagnant, according to data tracked by Dune Analytics. And now let's go to Shikha Singh to get an update on the buzzing stocks of the day. First on the list, we have PancakeSwap. Automated market maker PancakeSwap has partnered with Google Cloud to ensure the availability and reliability of its infrastructure. Following this announcement, Cake is a trading at one5 $55 up 5% in the last 24 hours with a market capitalization of $317 million. PancakeSwap leverages a Google's Kubernetes engine to scale its nodes quickly and accurately predict traffic spikes with the help of Predict Cube solution from Dysonix. Dysonix Predict Cube solution enabled PancakeSwap to predict traffic spikes and automate blockchain node scaling to manage traffic surges. This approach ensured high scalability and 99.99% uptime, with Dysonix predicting over 90% of the spikes. The solution also reduced infrastructure costs by over 30%. Moving on, blockchain protocol Terra Classics, the joint L1 task force, also known as L1TF, which is Terra Classics' core developer group, has issued an update on their progress and future plans for quarter two. In the upcoming quarter, the developer group aims to focus on reducing the circulating supply of LUNC and USDC. Terra Classic was trading 3% up in the last 24 hours with a market capitalization of $438 million. L1TF project manager LUNC Born Army announced a task from June 26th to July 11th with a focus on upgrading Astropod's smart contract before trans transitioning to the quarter three roadmap. A quarter to end of quarter update will provide a comprehensive review of completed tasks. 
The L1TF is stabilizing the impact of Cosmo Vasmo parity upgrade and has integrated the pull request for seamless token swaps between LUNC and USTC using TerraSwap through TFL station. The L1TF is also working on burn tax split, DA app whitelisting, contract upgrades and supporting the con team for USTC repack. Unused funds will be returned to the community pool, which currently holds over 525 million LUNC. Moving on, dog-themed cryptocurrency Shiba Inu and Bitcoin were among the top two most traded crypto assets on the Wazirx crypto trading platform in June. Shiba Inu was trading at 1.20% higher in the last 24 hours with a market capitalization of $4.45 billion. Analysts believe amid the boring state in the crypto market, Shiba Inu investors continue to buy and sell hefty amounts of both crypto assets on different trading platforms daily and monthly. This growing interest in SHIB is estimated to be due to the upcoming Shibarium mainnet launch as investors speculate a price surge. Likewise, the team has promised that more substantial developments and projects would be onboarded into the Shiba ecosystem post mainnet Shibarium launch. Moving on, decentralized trading protocol Uniswap has rolled out its vision for Uniswap version 4 after confirming that progress is still ongoing with the next generation model. Uniswap was trading at $5.22, up 2% in the last 24 hours with a market capitalization of $3 billion. After processing over $1.5 trillion in trading volume two years after launching Uniswap version 3, which primarily catered to on-chain liquidity and the DeFi, the Uniswap protocol has become the largest decentralized exchange system. According to Uniswap estimations, version 4 greatly cuts pool construction gas expenses by 99%. While hooks give the network endless possibilities, the singleton architecture allows the efficient routing across all pools. Last on the list, we have Ethereum scaling solution Polygon has demonstrated a notable upward trend, achieving an impressive surge of 24% in the last seven days alone. Despite concerns of potential delisting from Revolt's US platform following its classification as a security by the Securities and Exchange Commission earlier this month, Polygon was trading at $0.78, up near 9% in the last 24 hours with a market capitalization of $6 billion. Polygon 2.0 updates may bring dramatic growth in late 2023, but 88% of Polygon addresses may face losses if they sell their tokens at the current market price, analysts believe. Polygon addresses have shown an upward trend with an 8.56% surge in the past week. Over the past 30 days, an average of 565,000 MATIC addresses have been documented. In the last seven days, there has been a 7.8% decrease in active addresses and a 24% decrease in MATIC addresses without recorded transactions. However, there has been 18.7% increase in newly created address. Overall, the Polygon network is experiencing growth and stability. Well, that's all in today's special bulletin. This is me, Vishakha Thakur, signing off. For more on such updates and market news, please log on to our website, www.3worstv.io, or scan the QR code.